So, are you getting an error when you're using lookup value? How frustrating is that? Well, in today's video, I'll show you why the error happens and how you solve it. Just in a second. So, you are using lookup value. You think you're using it correctly, and you probably are. But there is a trick. There's something that you need to be aware of when you use it. I went through it very quickly when I review look at value and I think it really deserves a video on its own. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to go very quickly through the look at value function. I've already explained that, but we're going to see when it produces an error and why. So it will help you solve the issue. And I will give you a trick on how to use, how to, you know, solve the issue. But it, of course it will depend on how your model and your data looks like, and how you will actually solve it. So without any more delay, let's begin. Okay, so we are going to look at the lookup value again, and we're going to go through in a little bit more detail what happens when you get an error, and at least one way that you could solve it. But everything depends, of course, on how your data looks like. So I have two tables here. I have a table with the orders. So here is order A, B, and C. And then each order has a parent and a child. So the parent is the one that has related one and the child is two, two. So nothing strange here, but when these orders are being processed, so the, let me show you the cost table, it shows the shipping cost for the child. So depending on the country, the shipping cost for this uh, product child is being calculated on the fly. And uh, one of the things that we want to do is to actually sum everything to the parent. So we want to um, get the cost of the child for each order and sum it up to get the parent cost. And I'm going to show you, again, there are like a thousand ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way, okay? And we are going to use the lookup function. And this gives me an opportunity to, again, do a revisited video on the lookup function and why you will get an error. But the first thing that we're going to do is just, you know, this is in many to many relationships. So we have many orders IDs, many items IDs. So we cannot join these uh, tables together. There is no way that we can join by either order ID or by item ID. Okay, we could, it would be a lot easier, uh, but we can't. So what we want to do now is we want to transfer the cost of the child here. So we go to model in, we go to new column, and we're going to do a lookup. Uh, so lookup child costs. So we go to lookup, I already have a lookup value video that shows how this function works so for more detail just go to that video i'll just you know plow ahead so the first thing look at value wants is the results column so what we want is from the cost table we want the shipping cost and uh, we have cost child id as the key and that matches the order item id on the order table and then we want to have also uh, from the cost uh, table, the order, because we want to match by order, right? A item will have different shipping costs depending on the order. So we want to match by order and we want to match by order. So what this is basically saying is, the key for joining these two tables is from the cost table is the child and the order and from the order table is the item id order id and once you have matched those columns bring me back the cost so now we have the costs for the child if they are available in this table works beautifully right so I didn't get any error. When do I get an error? And this is uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. And uh, for that, we need to go back to Power Query and modify our table a little bit. So this is our cost table. 
and if we go in here and we add a new line we said there is actually 1000AA2 so this child exists two times in order A but it has different shipping costs and then close and apply And as you can see, it says a table of multiple values was supplied where a single value was expected. And um, this is basically the easier that you will find. And what happens basically is that if you go back here, you have one item that has two values. It is, it is returning both for the same order it could be either four or it could be either five. And Power BI doesn't know which one do you want. You know, in Excel, it will pick up the first one. In Power BI, it doesn't. It just returns an error and say, I, I can't solve this issue. So if what you want to do is to reproduce the same or do the same as it happens in Excel, that it only picks the first known blank, one of the things you could do is look up child first non blank we go calculate and then we go first first non blank and then we go to the lookup table and we pick the shipping cost so we say pick the first one you find okay so then shift enter filter and then you have the lookup table first and then you do where cost child is equal to order item shift enter and the cost order is equal to order order and that will give you the um, the cost basically uh, without an error but it will only give you the first one it picks and in this case <laughs> it's basically not good enough okay because you need to know I mean, if you are going to calculate what, like we're going to do in the next video, the actual shipping cost for the parents, you need to have the right child costs, right? So the option that you have here is either you can move the country because the key here is child, country and order, right? You need all three to actually pick a unique cost. So either you can have, you have it here, the country, or you just need to import it. So if we had in here, let's assume that we can either move it with lookup or we have it on our, you know, back table, whatever it is. So we have here the country and here we need to be again a, because this item exists twice related to, and this is this was Germany, but this one was, and those I don't remember. I think they were like that. And this one's like that. Was it like that? Uh, not at all. B Spain. Germany. So it was the other way around. So C is Germany, A and B is 
like that. Close and apply. And now to our lookup function. Let's try, give it a go again. We are going to actually add the cost country and the order can and the order country. So you can add as many columns as you like that will give you the, the right results and probably I brought something wrong on the table. Um, so, and now we are back on track again, which is quite nice. Um, and as you can see, this um, child does not have a cost because it's not available on the cost table. Okay, so that is the reason why you don't see anything. But otherwise you have two ways to actually get around this uh, lookup uh, function problem uh, when, with the many to many relationships when you cannot just have a relationship between them. So hopefully this helps. In the next video, we're going to calculate the cost for the parent for each order. Okay, so we will calculate uh, these uh, uh, three, four, yeah, this is picking the first one. This that's why it's a three. There, there is a difference in there. Where is the A? That's the two. So you can see very clear what this uh, um, first note blank is doing. It's not picking the four. It's just picking the three, which is the first uh, value that it finds. Uh, great. So yes, on the next video, we will uh, calculate the cost for the parent for each order. So stay tuned. So what do you think? You hopefully, hopefully, hopefully know now what to do when that nasty error shows up. Um, in the next Tax Fridays video, we're going to continue with this example. And what we're going to do is look at parent-child hierarchies and see how we can work together with those. So we're going to be able to sum the costs of the child to the parent. And uh, that will be in the next Tax Friday video. So until then, take care and I'll see you on the next video.